Yeah. Scan. The rogue trader ship took its place in the center of the attack formation. The right, fl the right flank was guarded by the sacred combat vessels of the Adeptus Mechanicus, and the left consisted of the combat forces combined forces gathered by the Lord Inquisitor, headed by a frigate of the indomitable Space Wolves. The enemy deployed their ships in a wide arc in an attempt to surround the squadron, but the heretic's plan that was not meant to be. Thorball and Opticon 22 sent their detachment forward, trying, tying up the enemy in combat and pre presenting the Lord Captain with the chance to deliver a blow to the very heart of the enemy position, where the flagship of these traitors to humanity await their final hour. I will be your beacon in the darkness. Ew. Uh, where's the... Oh. Blasphemous Sticks class heavy cruisers. Is that all? Oh, yep. Uh, this is gonna be freaking tough. Nope. Nope. Oh, crap me. Let's come here. At least over here. Uh, let's see. Vulnerability scanned you. Okay. Really? Uh, shield pulse. Really? What the? Wait, what the hell happened to the... Okay. I can't do jack. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Yeesh. Ooh. Yeesh. Uh, still within range, I believe? Nope. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, can you please come over here? Okay, good. You're heading. Are you kidding me? Okay, uh, protect the starboard. Uh, so death is that crap. Whatever. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Please just shoot him. What the hell happened to the freaking damage? Oh, wait. Wow. The enemy has lost their shield and their courage. Yeesh. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh crap, this is hard. Ugh. Ish. Wait, what the? A breach in the enemy shield has been revealed. Okay, that was icy. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, let's just let one of you out. Uh, yep. Yeah. You gonna blow up, I believe? Yep. No. Crap. Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, why can I not... Okay, that was a bit nice, I will lie. Okay, uh, what did I get? Well, aside from the whole thing. Yeah, I just- I believe I just get a bunch of heretical trophies. Uh, was it here? Nope. Here? 
Yeah. Void trophies. Heretic void trophies. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of heretic trophies. Okay. Let me save because I don't want to do that again. And let's go. Coronas expand. Sector Coronas expands. Region Mundus Valencia system. Location Dragonus Palace of the Lord General Militant. Material extract from the memoirs when the expanse burned. Author Corvan Lazarus, Lord General Militant of the Dragonus Planetary Defense Garrison. A general once said that all wars are fundamentally the same. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Rock shit. The ge that general has not witnessed the events of Euphrates II. Rogue trader Hyphus Dame from Valencius was the supreme commander in that battlefield. In that battle, a man of iron will, unfaltering, unshakable. I served in his personal enforcer guard back then. Just another cocky kid who thought he was an ex an expert soldier. The emperor was graci gracious to me. He gave me a chance to realize just how wrong I was. Most of my comrades didn't get a chance like that. What the? Who's this? As long as the... Wait for our attention to push the news. The shuttle... Would have blocked out the sun if one could see it through the smoke of the Manifactorum city of Sigma S13. At its heart stood the Machine Cathedral, our primary objective. The Lord Captain shows showed us mercy by having the landing zone bombarded from orbit. All the shuttles carrying troops and, more importantly, precious vehicles reached their destination. Daunted by our numbers, the enemy withdrew. That was the perfect moment for a decisive attack. With an armored vehicle force of this size, we have the upper hand. Upon dis descending from orbit, Sister Argenta inspired the troops with the verse, very first notes of, his, of her prayer. Her singing was the Emperor's voice commanding us to fight without any regard for our own lives. After rousing the soldiers to launch a daring raid, she quickly captured one of the heretics' commanders. That was when we heard a starkly different voice from the Sister of Battle. Trembling with fury, she personally interrogated the miscreant, pulling one poisoned confession after another out of him. When she was done, the world was purged of his impure breath, and she was one and she was the one wielding the flamer. The sight of that heretic writhing in flames was imprinted upon our memories, shining a light on the cool darkness of our immediate future like a brilliant beacon. In the command center, Lord Captain ordered, her, ordered his generals to... Now listen to this. The best breakthrough point into Manifactorum Sigma S13 was re receiving Doc Mu 514, one of the oldest parts of the city whose fortifications and defense systems were starting to show their age. Every approach to it was covered in traps, atomic mines, mechanical may mayhem collars, skin rending, skin, skin rending arch viruses, but we were ready to advance, ta taking sector after sector, even if it meant throwing our bodies at whatever the enemy had in store for us. Uh, let's do this. We were commanded to prepare our auspices and commence the assault. We co-signed our, li our lives to small green vid screens and their machine spirits. Whenever we avoided one another one of the enemy's traps and ambushes, we would then vox cast our coordinates to the artillery gunners, where our co comrades rained, down rained thunder and lightning upon the heads of those skulking horses. We gave the Empress peace to the rest, making slow but steady progress towards the city walls. Pushing through the ruins of the of sacred workshops, we, worked, we looked with awe upon the machine that upon up until that point had remained forbidden to the eyes of the laity. Those were palaces of incredible and frightening technology, void ship assembly halls, alchemical atriums, sacred arsenals, generators producing invisible fields unsettling to the mind, and scriptorums containing knowledge of horrors and best left undiscovered. Okay. In one of the cha chemical chapels, we came upon a shipment of systems containing hallucinogenic gas. The tech priests protested that these substances were not designed for warfare. It was created for high rituals, but the officers wasted no time pumping our artillery shell full of that gas. At last, we reached the gate of Dark Mu. 514, the threshold of the metal nightmare that was manufactured on Sigma S13. However, the initial attempts to storm the dock shot shattered against the enemy's defenses. The Mangos Dominus of the Con 22 proposed a tech sabotage. He would, could send small Skitari units behind the enemy lines and have them subdue the spirits of the Ares defense system. Thorbald, the fierce leader of the Space Wolves, pr proposed a set to send infiltrators beyond the wall to kill en enemy officers and weaken the dock's defenses. Uh, let's listen first. The influence of the ruinous powers have corrupted the twist and twisted Dock Mu 514 beyond recognition. Many potential approaches were blocked by walls of flesh fused with metal and anomalies that bent reality around them. Hundreds of possessed machines assembled on Euphrates 2 rose against us. The enemy was expecting us to strike, and we needed to disrupt their defenses before attacking. Uh. I. Let's do tech use. I mean, it is the highest chance. Good. I was part of the escort for. One of the tech priest crews that broke into the dock to carry out the sabotage missions. It is one thing to watch a technomat wave a sensor over a cogitator on a cargo deck, but it was another to observe the sacred tech rituals being performed under a hail of bullets and carpet bombings. 
Their binary binary prayers, decryption litanies, and blessed crypto purification viruses did their work. Every turret in the vicinity instantly turned on their on the traitors, and the dock filled with gunfire and screams. When the silence failed, the gates opened before us. It took us many days to break through to the metal heart of the manufactorum. On the third week of the assault, the vanguard was halted by halted and swept away by a salvo of plasma macro cannons, scourging every can every cannon of sacred scorning every cannon of sacred engineering. The heretics have placed the hull of an unfinished wood cruiser on thre on treads several kilometers long. This Leviathan of Adamantine and Plasteel barred our way. Whoa. Locus Opticon 22 insisted that we retake this, the sacred machine, for the vessel has been in the making for many decades. It is the, and its destruction would have meant a great tragedy 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 for the Imperium. It came as a surprise to it came as a surprise to us all when the space of Thorball supported the Mingo Zominus. After the Lord Captain has reconciled him with the Exploratory leader, Thorball has tamed his pride and spoke in favor of the tax race cost of liberating the noble machine. Uh send us send scouts to assess the fearsome weapon. The sight was both terrifying terrifying and mesmerizing, a majestic cathedral that was designed to cut through the void was instead resting on treads of a size that staggered the imagination. Those treads were grinding buildings into dust, and the ship's heavy cannons were incinerating entire tank formations. How could mere mortal hopes to defeat this behemoth like that? Dogmatic fanatic. Yeesh. Ooh, okay. Wow, okay. Okay, so this one I just basically do the whole Abaddon thing with the Blackstone Fortress. Okay. Now let's try this. Okay. Having a secret machine on our side could have given our offensive a sizable edge. Our, our orders were to get a landing force to the cruiser's bridge and escort the engine seer to the main counter Our shuttles used the turret's blind spot to deploy the elite troops on board of the cruiser while they were engaged with these freaking heretics. The engine seer reasoned with the machine spirits of the, of the main counter initiated the blessed purgation protocol on the inner decks. It took us three days to drag every last cultist corpse out of the compartments. Okay. Slipping into on pools of blood mixed with sacred unguents, we made it to the machine cathedral, a gargantuan hall breathing with the flames of the of a thousand furnaces, the last bastion of the enemy army. There, there was when I first faced the word bearers, betrayers of humanity and unworthy sons of the emperor. What could we mere humans possibly do to ma match an unholy bestial rage? Uh, device a plan that the space wolf at the forefront of the strike. I mean, this is the highest one. Of, this is the one with the highest chance. Yeah. Okay, the Emperor's angels th themselves led the charge that day, magnificent in their rage, they forged a path for us to follow, and even the appealing, appalling champions of the arch-enemy could not stop them. While we distracted the enemy with suppressive fire and a hail of grenades, our unyielding leaders charged the word bearer and tore them to pieces. We were the anvil of his wrath, and they were the hammer. And that's when it came, Do Doom Scream, an ancient and bloodthirsty hellbrute, a merciless executioner forged from Edamantine and Ceramite. That single foal was, was repelling our assaults one after another, turning hundreds of soldiers into bloody pulp. For as long as the ab abomination lived, we have no hope of reaching the heart of the enemy cathedral. The, the dire-eyed Thorbald volunteered to track down and destroy this vile spawn, but fate had other things in store for him and his brothers. The Space Wolf Pack was to be f the first to storm the Machine Cathedral, and thus Mingo's Dominus Opticon 22 assembled a cohort, cohort of elite Skatari that said, and said that he would locate and el eliminate Doomscream. The soldiers were whispering that he was willing to activate the so-called Guaranteed Annihilation Protocol, a terrible and ominous rite that is as lethal to the enemy of the Unmessiah as it is to his faithful servants. Upon Arriving at the front gates, the Lord Captain. Uh, question of survivors who have witnessed the ruin of the Doomscrew who... that the Doomscrew have wrought. Those lucky enough to have escaped with their lives have little to tell us. They remember a terrible hell hanging in the air and a death and a death machine, impossibly quick for its size, Dem dismembering people and corrupting, crumpling tanks with his horrific manipulators. The enemy was ancient devious and utterly mad. The heretic's mind was clouded by rage and hatred, and his body was bound within a prison of metal and mutated flesh. Let's try this. Okay! What happened next would become legend. The Lord Captain, at the head of his retinue, charged the bloodthirsting hell's... Hell of scratch. What's that? Here, scratch... Is that an L or an I? I think that's an... No, that's an L. How do you say this? Harris, scratch, hell, whatever. That had crawled out of the darkness of time. He dealt the wicked executioner a heavy and mortifying blow, and, the, and thus Doom's scream was routed. The abomination tore pincer fitted with an ancient and powerful bolter became the rogue trader's rifle trophy. Unhallowed bellow. Ooh. But I need heretical follower for that. Yeesh. Oh, well, whatever. It's a bolter. At last we reached the machine cathedral. We saw a yawning lift 
shaft left behind by a colossal landing gnawing drill that had burrowed from four kilometers into the depths of the planet. There, deep below, light the last hiding place of the heretic's leader. Hundreds of grenades, accompanied by promise of swift judgment, were hurled into the pit. Such was our righteous anger. The planetary assault was a resounding success. The enemy forces were shattered and broken. A small fraction remained in the machine cathedral, but the rest either had been destroyed or were destined to meet the same inevitable fate soon. The Lord Captain Retinue. Lord Captain's retinue and the Space Wolf band delved into the shaft, headed towards the heart of the Machine Cathedral. We watched them leave with reverence in our eyes as we were setting up a perimeter around the entrance. We knew that the true outcome of the of Battle of Euphrates 2 depended on them and our fates were theirs to decide. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, bringing Abola would be a smart idea. I mean, we are gonna be in a. Uh, we are going into a fourth role, so Pascal might be a smart idea as well. But that left me without officers. I'm a bit scared at that. I mean, if I do this, I have no frontliners. Well, I do have a melee dude, a semi-melee dude in Pascal. But other than that, not much. The... Like, Apollar with his melee will be good, especially with the power hammers, especially with the thunder hammers and whatnot. Yearlet, you'll be good if you if I want to snipe somebody. I mean, Argenta, you, you can always freaking deluge people with freaking bolt rounds. Same with Ulfar. You know what? Let's go with this. Okay. Uh. Oh. May the engine, energy of the material, uh, may the gears resume turning, may the batteries be infused with whatever. Oh my god, look at the amount of heretics. The giant clad in dark crimson armor is in the middle of the sinister litany. His words turn into a repulsive eth ethereal screech and inflicts the of inflicts of otherworldly ice. He does not notice your presence. The same cannot be said about Conrad Voigtbeer, who stands at his side. He co he's completely mutated. Turquoise eyes flash upon seeing you. His flinches, but remains silent, hesitant to interrupt the ritual. Eh, that's right. Yeah, watching the loathsome acts described of desecration take place before you. Before you fills your head with unnerving sensation, you realize you will never, you will forever remember these disturbing inhuman words that the sorcerer is speaking. They have embedded themselves in your memory in place of something important that was there before. Trying against you, you cannot remember what it was. The sorcerer does not turn his head as his voice rolls over the room. I see you, mortal thing. I sense your meek mind. The sorcerer reluctantly turns his burning gaze upon you. So you are the one who was so eager to meet me and your own demise. Rejoice, brother Twilight. Today you will become the new rogue trader. Wait for your deformed feature twisted into a bloody smile. But thirsty smile. Yes, master. I will rectify my mistake and reclaim what is what was stolen. Uh, examine the machine. Well, the platform beneath the sorcerer's feet is the drilling machine, massive tunnel, tunneling shield. The, me the, mighty, the mighty mechanism can gnaw through underground rock, bunker bolt, he bolt heads, reinforced with adamantine, or anything else that might lurk in the planet's depths. The corrupted servants of the Deus Mechanicus gather around the heretic, muttering twisted prayers of ignition in attempts to persuade the omnisized majest majestic beast to awaken and rend the world's flesh. Uh, Voivir, what the devils are you doing here? Voivir cocks his head sharply, like a bird and laughing and laughs mockingly. I'm the I'm on the path to greatness, Hyphosdain. True power, the kind of which you and Theodora could only dream of. The edge of daybreak promised to weave me a truly remarkable fate. You're on a path on your own death, nothing more. You have almost reached the end. An empty threat, I have an upper hand this time. In my next prayer to the Dark Gods, I will thank them for letting me destroy another rogue trader of the Valencia's line. If only you knew what powerful weapon awaits us down below. With it, we'll make it make it make the entire expanse. Enough, Brother Twilight. Your lips will not speak a word more. Uh, that is, that it is a heathen's place to hear. Ign ignorance is their cloister. Let them remain trapped there. 
Uh, do you have a name or shall I simply refer you as Heretic? You know my name well. I'm Uralon the Cruel, breaker of misbelievers, true speaker, triumphant, triumphant tour of faith, dark apostate of the Blessed Orbearer's Legion. Kneel and offer a prayer of gratitude for your death could not be bear a worthier name. Uh, you must have been pretty been pretty occupied with something profoundly important if you pay no heed to me obliterating your army. Death for the glory of the true gods is best is a blessed faith for any believer. So why would I rob them of it? Every martyr who perishes in the name of in their name only empowers their reign. I was tasked with a different mission to make the Chronic Expanse behold the sheer importance of its most eminent protector. Once Kalkazar's treasure has been stolen, his secret hordes plundered, and his name shamed, the dogs of the false emperor will seek truth. No one will protect them. No one will heed their pleas. Only by bowing to the masters of the Immaterium will they earn the right to live. And what is this treasure you covered so terribly? I will keep this from you so that you may perish in the darkness of ignorance. Pathetic. Your master did not even tell you the reason why he sent you to face your death, and neither will I make this poison cup any easier to drink. Uh, have it your way if you're so good. Uh, let's lie. The social less out of children's life. Save your feeble lies, for they are only of my ears. I can see into the souls of, of mortals, and there is nothing you but confusion and fear. Uh, no more world, no more words, Torbolt. You must stop it. What happened? The wolf lets out a chilling howl, and his packs ready the weapons, acknowledging it as he unequip un order to kill, whatever. With a solemn gesture of his hand, Othar thunders in fury. Let those who blaspheme against the true gods beg forgiveness in vain. Let their lips be sealed, let their hands be severed, let their souls be reaped and scourged. Okay. The battle wolves, do not let the malefic motor here. Whatever. Okay. Okay, what now? The glorious fight awaits. Take heed with the silver tongue traitor. For he is old, sly, and strong, but by the all father, the wolf will spill rivers of his blood today. The horrific display of profane sorcery appears to have filled Thorbal with joy and anticipation rather than fear. Have you encountered Ulram Uralon before? No. Or else his head would have still wouldn't still have been hanging on his neck. But my pack has heard his heard plenty about his strength and the ignominious misdoings ignominious misdoings, one can see the evidence of his malefaction malefactions all across the Kronos expanse like bear tracks upon fresh snow. We stalked him and looked for a chance to clamp our jaws around his throat, but the craven knows well how to hide behind the backs of his theoretical lackeys. Uh, what manner of witchcraft is he attempting back there? We wish to wake the tunneling behemoth. If you hunger for my thoughts, Oleron, Oleron is searching for something down below in the manufacturer's deep, deepest halls. My warriors destroyed the energy found and silenced the drill, but the detestable malefact still found a way to revive it with his heinous magic. Another blasphemy. There are too many to count now. As Kel's drive voice is rattling like a heavy vehicle chain track, his visor lights up like a blinding green, then blue, and you hear a metallic moan coming from everywhere. It is as though the manufacturer himself has been tortured. What is Ulleran after? What is he trying to unearth? Don't ask, for I know not myself. Calcasar treats his allies like a Phoenician mushroom farmer treats his produce. Keep them in the dark and feed them shit. He didn't see fit to enlighten us about the secrets of Euphrates too, but tis no matter. Whatever it is, we mustn't let the loathsome malefact claim it. I will deal with them. You're a brave one. You're not so. You're not easily deterred. Good. Then find a way to reach the tunneling platform where we give the mangy sorcerer something to worry about. Thorbal exchanges glances with his warriors, and you could swear they all smile in, in anticipation inside their helmets. Uh, Albert, you stick to the original plan. Take two brothers and go after Doomscream. Wait, I thought I described. I thought I destroyed Doomscream. Our scout reports that he took refuge here in these depths after being defeated in battle on the approach to the Machine Cathedral. I want to take the unholy tin can that holds his traitor's brain back to Fenris. Good hunting. We won't fail you. The, the eager space marine lets out a hurrying howl. Proudly tread the hunter's grim, in chase of a beast of steel and blood. Fangs bared sharp in thirst of prey, let glory cloak the mighty gate. Doomscream? He hides in this den? Step aside, Halbert. I will be the one to slay it. I claim this quarry for the baleful howl. Who's or what? Doomscream. An old, an old and vicious heretic, a, a Halbert whose vein boils with poisonous rage and savagery. His mind and body has been so warped by the rumin ruminous powers that he his very existence is a front to the Allfather's warriors. Tread lightly when facing him, young brother. Yes, the beast is mad and heinous, but he is with, with almighty old and grace with the arch enemy's profane patronage. Patronage. His hateful sermons abound with malefactions, and his weapon claimed the lives of hundreds during the assault. We grievously wounded him, true, but we haven't seen the last of his of this foe. If Ulfar kills Doom Scream, will that prove that the Baleful Hell lives? If it comes to pass, I will be the first to raise a cup to the proud name of this ferocious pack. Ulf Ulfar, we set out to hunt the beast. Do you seek to best me in hunting Ulfar ever lost? Not, none are faster than deadlier than the Stormbiters. We will see, young wolf. We will see. Luck be with you, warriors. Hide your roost, have his name. Hide your roost, have his name. Okay. Uh, goods. 
Is there money to be made? The lockers are full of work overalls, ropes, and tools that are covered in seals and emitted a strong send off. Sacred ungoods. To the lift. The elevator. The screen displays the elevator shutdown diagram. There are two devices that prevent the machine from functioning. Okay, this is a good haul. I always keep my options open. It was Katarius. Oh, uh, where's the help route? All around the cruel. Loot, loot. Hmm. Rise to the top, Rush to for my sharp senses. What do you see? Controlled cogitator. I'm guessing this is I have to do a big loop. Keep you around, I think. You. Pay attention. That's what I think we'll have to do. Yeah, I believe I have to go down here, battle with the corrupt uh, Skatarius, whatnot, go around, do this, and then go around, go here, into here, do this. That's what I'm guessing I have to do. A bit of a bowl, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Neuro Disruptor. Ooh, okay. 100% penetration, eh? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. And I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but I just noticed how late it is for me. So this is where I'm going to leave it off. I know, I know I'm teasing you guys, but hey, at the very least, we moved on from, uh, from, you know, just moving around in our, in the uh, fortune bosom. But yeah, I believe we're basically on the cusp of the, well, we're basically at the end of the, uh, the end of the chapter. I, I remember reading that this fight is supposed to be the like the ep the epilogue of chapter 4 and after I defeated Ulleron, assuming I defeated him, uh, that will be the end. So yeah. I have to be careful because I believe for Ulleron is actually, he's actually quite hard to deal with. Uh, do I have plasma? Everybody got plasma or bolter or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this will be good. So yeah. Like I said, this is where I'm gonna leave it off. Thank you all very much for watching. Always keep your eye on the prize. And uh yeah, hopefully I can, you know, survive I can get through this. So uh yeah, that will be on the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching and I hope to see you guys and gals next time. Ciao.